Well, I've got uh, Darren Murray Mayhem's Country Living. I got his knife done. I just got to make the sheath. Uh, I've got Brad, uh, Brad's knife, uh, home, uh, not Homestead Nation. Good God. <sighs> okay, I'm having some trouble with my memory, and uh, I'm actually seeing a doctor about this. For some reason, I can't remember the name of his channel. <sighs> not Homestead Nation. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, you know Brad. Brad and Krista. Uh, I've got the knife made that he's going to give away, or he's already given away. And I've got that knife made, and knife tonight I will make the sheath for that. This is a knife that uh, a lady called Baker Mom bought. And I just wanted to show you, if anybody wants to know why custom knives are so expensive, those two pins cost me that much. And uh, <laughs> that's a lot of money, but it makes the knives look so much better and I only use these uh, custom pins I only use them on the highly polished knives because they just make them look so much nicer so it is worth the extra the extra money and uh, the knives this knife the door cheat and the swamp diva is the only knives I put them on and uh, this is mahogany and uh, maple. Maple inner, mahogany outer. And when I get that shaped up, that's going to be so nice. So I've got the pins in the mail, and what I'm going to do now is drill my holes through these, epoxy them, put my pins in, and uh, tomorrow I'll be able to shape these. Uh, I'm making some progress on it. Baker mom, it won't be long now. Here is the door cheat that I made for Brad. Uh, Big Family Homestead, I remembered his channel name. I can't believe it. Big Family Homestead. And uh, looking pretty good, pretty good. And tonight I'll start on the sheath. Here's uh, Darren's, Murray Mayhem. That's a swamp rat. That is a door cheat. There's my sheath patterns. Here's my leather. And uh, tonight, after I take my shower, and we're going to be working outside in the yard today, so I got what I, I've epoxied the uh, handles on that other knife in my shop. And I'm at the point now where I can't do anything more on knives. Uh, I'm going to mow my yard, work outside, go fill up all my gas cans, and uh, take a shower, come inside, and start making sheaths. See you in a bit. You know, I was going to say something nice about Texas Knife Maker Supply. TexasKnifeMakerSupply.com For knife makers, that is the website. Uh, they You can buy the steel, the 1095. You can buy all kinds of knife making steel from them. Pins, bolsters, wood, epoxy, sandpaper. So, uh, I ordered a 12-inch, hold on, let me turn the light on with this, well, crap, here's what I ordered, focus, why won't you focus, isn't that strange? Alright, I ordered an 8 inch mosaic pin, 12 inches long, and a quarter inch mosaic pin, 12 inches long. They sent me the 8 inch. And they sent me six inches. And can you see the price on the on the twelve inch? They charged me that price, forty three bucks, and sent me six inches. Okay, no big deal. You know, companies make mistakes. I've dealt with this company a lot. They're a good outfit. Never had any mistakes. So I called their number right here, and uh, I I emailed them through Amazon because I bought this through Amazon. And let them know that they shorted me six inches and I and I said I don't need another six inches I need a 12 inch because I'm so exact with my measurements that I include the kerf the kerf is the thickness of the blade that cuts it 
So I have no idea why they sent me a six inch, but they said, no problem. Uh, and I told them, look, I don't want nothing for free. I just want what I paid for. If you'll send me a shipping label with the 12 inch quarter inch mosaic pen, I'll ship you the six inch back. They said, oh no, you can just keep that. Okay, well, great. So there's, uh, you know, $20 worth of pen right there for free just because they messed up. So I'm still waiting. I got knives that aren't put together, waiting, waiting. And today it shows up in the mail. And what is it? It's another eighth inch. Texas Knife Maker Supply. Y'all need to get your shit together, man. You're screwing me up here. So he said again, okay, sorry about that. He says, okay, here, I call the guy. Same guy I sent the email to. Same guy that told me, oh, sorry about that. We'll send you the right one. I got him again today. He says, well, I know I sent a 12-inch pen. I said, sir, it is a 12-inch pen. You sent the 8th inch. And I was very specific and made it clear that it was the quarter inch that I was shorted, not the eighth inch. The eighth inch is fine. I need the quarter inch. And not only did I send you an email, I, I left you a voicemail telling you it was a quarter inch. So here we go again. And I told him, send me a shipping label. I don't want nothing for free. I'm sorry I'm yelling. It's starting. You know, I was all cool with this when it was the, just one mistake. But they made the same mistake again, and it's kind of pissing me off because it's uh, throwing the whole schedule off with knife making. You know, I'm mowing the yard, and I got a whole bunch of things to do. Tomorrow I got a doctor's appointment. It's going to take me all freaking day. And now I don't have the pens that I ordered to make the knife, or the knives. And uh, so now it's throwing me back another two days. I can't do it today because I don't have the pens. I can't do it tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment. So uh, here we are, and this is uh, why I tell people, don't get in a hurry if you order a knife from me. It might take a week or two or three or four. I just have to fit it into my life. And uh, you know, it's not my job, it's my hobby. So anyway, sorry if I sounded uh, cranky, but it just happened and when I opened the box and seen the eighth inch pin, I was just, I don't believe it. The same mistake twice on the same order with the same guy. And I made it so very clear what I needed in the email that it's just even more mind-boggling. Jeez, alrighty. Thanks for watching, y'all. Alright, I've got Mur uh, Darren's done. Murray Mayhem Country Living. Got his done. Well, not done. I still have to put an edge on the blade, and I have to seal the leather. Uh, and then, here, I'm going to set the phone down for just one second. And then the final thing I do is I take 600 sandpaper and I drag I, I, I drag all the, the lines this away. That's the last thing I do after I put the edge on. So this is all one, all the scratches go in one direction, 600 grit. Okay, so uh, I kind of like that thread. This is the first one I've done with a white thread. Uh, Right there. Look at all this crap. Just to just to make this. That's what it takes. All these little tools. And I have the uh, sheath for Brad's knife cut. I'm probably going to start making this sheath in the morning. That's the hard part, getting it cut out. Let's see where his knife is. Okay. I really like that teak. Bump chicka wop wop. And this is the door cheat, if anybody's wondering. Uh, I have to make the sheath, put the edge on this, and then give it its final buff. I have to put some tape over the handle here and uh, give it its final buff. I'm thinking about putting some jimping here. I really like the look of the jimping, and uh, I've done it on one other knife, and it looked good, and now I have a way of doing it, or I don't have to do it by hand, by file. And uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you the, my progress. Uh, I have a knife on my bench now that I've got the handles uh, epoxied and pinned, and I would 
I have to go to the doctor tomorrow or else I would work on that. But uh, Friday, I'll shape that handle Friday. Friday night, put a couple coats of true oil on it. And uh, I may be able to ship that Monday too. Okay, I'm going to put this video up. Thanks for watching, y'all.